Ikaw ba ay naghahanda o di kayo nagsasagawa ng updates para sa inyong school based management? Kung ang sagot mo ay oo, ang video na ito ay para sa iyo. Dahil tatalakay natin ang iba't ibang artifacts na maaaring ihanda para sa ating school based management compilation of documents. Ano-ano nga ba ang artifacts o documents na kailangan nating ihanda? At paano natin ito ihahanda para maging maayos ang ating school based management corner? Unang-una sa lahat, kailangan meron po tayong list of artifacts that will serve as our guide in the preparation. Kaya ngayon, ibabahagi ko sa inyo ang suggested artifacts para sa ating SBM from Principle 1 to Principle 4. Ngunit sa video na ito, tatalakayin lamang natin ang Principle 1 which is Leadership and Governance. So kung gusto po ninyo ng artifacts naman, suggested artifacts for Principle 2, 3, and 4, Tingnan din yung part 2 para sa principle 2, part 3 for principle 3, and part 4 of this video for principle 4. Huwag lamang pong kalimutan na mag-subscribe at hit the notification bell para maging updated kayo sa mga video na i-upload ko. Now let's start with principle 1 which is leadership in governance. So for indicator 1, First, the copy of the approved ESIP with an excess from DPED Order 44 Series 2015. So in our in our folder, so wag na tayong mag-folder per halimba, ESIP, isang folder AIP sa so pwede siyang buuhan na lang, isang folder or any filer na gagamitin natin, maglagay lang po tayo ng tab. So sa tabings po natin, lalagyan natin ng title na approved ESIP para mas madali nating makita at mahanap. AIP, so we will make it more organized. SOB, APP, PPMP, and all of the annexes na makikita natin sa DepEd Order 44 Series 2015. Another one is the copy of the original SIP. And during the drafting of the SIP and AIP, kailangan natin yung mga artifacts na kompleto po natin, na document natin yung process during the drafting of the SIP. So from pre-planning, down to the actual conduct of the drafting of the SIP. So, kailangan meron tayong nitong notice of meeting, letter of confirmation, minutes of the meeting attendance, narrative report with photo documentation. Another is planning workshops or focus group discussion. Mga sessions natin sa FGD. So, ano ang meron dito? Yung mga meetings natin or sessions while we plan the school improvement plan so it is done collaboratively by the stakeholders of the school and community so same lang kapag meron tayong meeting or any sessions that we have kailangan itago natin or compile natin yung lahat ng artifacts na meron tayo like notice of meeting letter of confirmation minutes attendance in narrative report with photo documentation also we need to have the copy of the barangay development plan for indicator 2, we have the accomplished project monitoring report or ang ismaya natin. So dito po, ito po yung pwedeng artifacts na ating i-compile. The copy of the accomplished project monitoring report. Notice of meeting. So from pre-planning down to the implementation at yung mga progress pa na o nagagawin, adjustments pa na gagawin. And we have the minutes, attendance, narrative photo documentation. And also, remember, we have the action plan. No, hindi mawawala yung action plan. And bakit meron tayong re-entry action plan? Ayan, so for example, for this school year, meron tayong action plan. So for the next school year, we will we don't need to start from scratch no from the top ng ating plan so anong gagawin natin we will have the re-entry action plan we're in dito natin makikita kung ano yung gagawin natin so we will base our re-entry action plan no yung mga in-entry natin for our re-entry action we will base that one in our previous action plan so titingnan natin ano ba yung mga project or programs na 
na-complete natin, na-achieve natin. So, what are we going to do for the next year? So, ano yung enhancement? Ano yung improvement or enhancement na gagawin? At doon naman sa mga project and programs na hindi natin na-achieve, yung objective natin, or yung talaga hindi natin nasimulan, so ano yung gagawin natin? Now, let's include that one in our re-entry action plan. And of course, do not forget the activity design. Another is meeting organized and led by the community stakeholders, or the school planning team, and regular sessions like focus group discussion to schedule for ESIP review. So, ito yung mga meetings while we are having the SIP review. So, same lang kapag meron tayong mga meetings, they conduct or mga sessions, we need to have the package of these documents from the notice of the meeting down to the narrative report with photo documentation. Huwag din kalimutan ang ating logbook for incoming communications. And this would include logbook, letter, and memorandum. For indicator 3, PTA, SGC, CBL, or manual, resolutions, personal handbook, school manual, DPID manual, compilation of memorandum. So yung memorandum from school, up to the national level, we also have the local and non-DPED. Office order, job order, organizational chart, or structure. So, organizational chart, so we can have the list of the general PTA officials, some from PTA, SGC, teachers organization, list of officers of all the school clubs or organizations in school. Another is accomplishment report of all organizations. So, para maging order, in order yung ating compilation. So, kung mayroon tayong gagamitin na file or magtatab lang po tayo. For example, ito yung mga tab na gagawin natin. Isip, para ma-separate no? per organization. So, general PTA, teacher association, then all eight subjects. So, all eight subjects per subject din natin itatab. And then, watch, in-depth, God. So, all programs na meron tayo sa school. And... In every organization, in every clubs, kailangan po nandito na lahat. Now, ito po yung mga pwede nating ilagay na artifacts. So, for example, sa general PTA, so mag-attach tayo ng notice of meeting na naggawa, letter of invitation, confirmation, minutes, action plan, activity design, activity completion report, attendance, photo documentation, souvenir, evaluation, certificates, and appointment. So, itatap po natin para hindi po siya magulo. So, madali nating makita. Another is formulated school policy and guidelines. So, itatap po natin. Example, school policy. So, ipaseparate natin. Halimbawa, meron tayong school reading policy. Yung classroom policy. Ayan. So, itatap po natin. Another one is meetings, orientation, forum regarding the rights, Responsibilities of stakeholders showing technical assistance. So, yung mga meeting natin na nagpapakita na uh, that we talk about the rights, responsibilities of stakeholders, and also it shows technical assistance provided to stakeholders to sustain shared leadership and governance. And also, roles and functions are elaborated in the minutes of the meeting. So, again, magtatab na naman tayo para maseparate per organization. So, SGC, example. Sa tab natin, meron tayong sa SGC. And under each tab, no, or the organization that we have, kailangan nandoon yung notice of meeting, letter of confirmation, minutes, attendance, narrative, report with photo documentation. And for indicator 4, first, access to information to government agencies and private institution. So, we have the memo from the government agencies, invitation, and certificate. So, keep natin lahat yan. Another is report during fora. So, same po sa mga meetings that we had and sessions. We need to have the notice, confirmation, letter, activity design, the training matrix, the activity completion report, Attendance, pictorials, evaluation, reflection, souvenir program, and certificates. Another is 
the school website and dashboard. So, ito po, pwede po tayong screenshot natin yung school website natin and dashboard para lang po meron tayong ilagay sa folder natin. So, screenshot natin kung ano yung nasa, that would prove na meron tayong school website. Another is school report card, SMEA and Transparency Board. Minutes of BDC, MDC, city meeting. So, pag nag-meeting naman yung barangay natin, yung ating municipal or city, may i-invite naman yung school head or di kaya may representative yung school natin. So, maghihingi po tayo ng minutes what transpired during the meeting. So, kailangan meron po tayo niyan. Another one is communication system. So, sa communication system, dito naman, no, separate din natin. Yung SPT, PTA, SGC, Homeroom PTA meeting. So, approval to conduct meeting, evidence that SIP and performance indicator is published. So, kailangan makita dito, no, na pinablish natin, na report natin. So, na-inform ang ating stakeholders, both the internal and external stakeholders. And sa banda na yan, sa communication system, so ito yung mga kailangan natin na nailagay. So, meron tayong notice of meeting, letter of confirmation, minutes of the meeting attendance, narrative report. So, ulit-ulit lang po yan. No? Ganyan, kailangan po. So, from pre-planning down to the implementation, kailangan nandoon. Another is donation. Sa donation natin, magtatab lang din po tayo kasi marami din naman, no? Para ma-separate natin. Halimbawa, list of donated properties. Ayan. So, pasok natin lahat. Another po, yung deed of donation. So, nakapasok din po lahat. Certificate of recognition and do not forget the pictorials. And as a simple guide lang po or reminder for our pictorials, maximum of three pictures lang po tayo in each page para po hindi siya maliit na no? makita kaagad yung details ng pictures and remember we need to put captions in each picture another is school clubs or organization accomplishment reports ilalagay natin yung accomplishment report so kung makikita natin may mga nauulit ulit so hanggang from principle 1 down to principle 4 kung napapansin natin mapapansin niyo mamaya na Uli, may mga artifacts na paulit-ulit. So, kailangan bang ilagay natin paulit-ulit din? The answer is yes. Kahit pa nakikita natin doon sa nauna ng principle at nauna ng indicator, kailangan pa rin natin na i-provide kung, uh, kung hinihingi pa rin doon sa another indicator. Ayan. So, another one is school class. For example, ito, di ba, nahingi na kanina. So, naglalagay pa rin ta tayo. And then, itatab natin, huwag kalimutan para mas madali natin, organize yung ating documents. General PTA, Teacher Association, SBM. We also have eight subjects, no? Lahat ng subjects. Watch, In-Depth, God, is a CSL, I've reading, etc. So, and other programs that you have in our school, mga club na meron kayo sa school. So, ito yung package of artifacts naman from notice of meeting down to the certificates no meron tong activity completion reports sa mini sa meeting sa atin the action plan activity design kailangan din yung sovereign program kung meron tayong evaluation so in every activity nagkakanak naman tayo ng evaluation so kailangan i-include din natin yan at makikita din naman yan sa ating activity completion report ang summary niyan and also the certificates we will include also teacher's profile, Magna Carta for Teachers, IPCRF, and Certificate of Recognition and Awards, sample pictorials. Now, during the awarding, certificates, yung memo, lagi natin, alibawa may awarding ceremony, so may memo na ano, nakalagay dyan. So, kailangan i-compile natin. And then, yung plot. Picture, you know, no? while receiving the Awards, ganyan. Alright, for number 5, our fifth indicator, okay, salin natin yung ESAT result, compilation of IPPD, class program, report on training needs of teachers, training, slack, or seminar conducted. So, sa seminar conducted, kailangan din ito, ito yung mga artifacts, suggested artifacts na just remember na hindi po nakalimit lang dito. It's a minimum requirement po. So, pwede kayo magdagdag. This or just suggestions. So, kung meron kayong mga ginawa pa, may pinasubmit 
pa. Halimbawa sa training, no? kailangan na tayong notice of meeting, confirmation, activity design, training matrix, activity completion report, attendance, pictorial, evaluation, reflection, output. So, kung ano yung output na pinagawa natin sa ating mga participants, so, pwede maglagay tayo ng mga sample. Souvenir program, memorandum, and certificates. Another is list of officers. Okay, separate na din natin yung sa Home Road PTA, General PTA, Barangay County, Municipal Officers, SPT natin, and SGC. Another is orientation regarding the roles and rights of stakeholder. Sa Home Road PTA meeting, General PTA, SPT, and SGC. So, huwag kalimutan pa rin. Yung notice of meeting, letter of confirmation, importante yung minutes din, attendance, narrative photo documentation, and also the memorandum. Another is action plans of all organization and classes. So yung mga action plans natin ha, compile natin sa lahat po ng organization. Another one is evaluation report on the impact of parent-led programs and projects to learning outcomes. Example yung mga IGP natin. SIP, AIP, Handbook, Teachers Educational Attainment. So, dito maglaano tayo ng list of teachers and then identify natin kung sino yung naka-enroll na ba sa postgraduate studies, the list of teachers graduating in graduate school studies with permits. So, ganyan. Mag-ano po tayo ng list. So, yan po ang ating artifacts for Principle 1. And again, Para po sa Principle 2 up to Principle 4, manood lamang po kayo ng another video for Principle 2 which is Part 2. Para sa Part 3 naman, nandoon ang Principle 3 and Part 4 para sa ating Principle 4.